Good evening. On behalf of St. Paul Public Schools and Como Park Senior High School, I welcome you to the commencement exercise for the 2018 graduating class of Como Park High School. A very special welcome to our distinguished platform guests and especially to our parents, guardians, family members, friends, and Como staff. As we gather to celebrate the academic and personal accomplishments of an amazing and special group of young men and women. To parents and guardians, this is a day of celebration and acknowledgement for you as well. I know how happy you must feel at this moment. You have so much to be proud of. I want you to know that I share in your joy this evening. It goes without saying how important of a role you have played in helping them to reach this milestone accomplishment. Thank you for your support and for also supporting and believing in St. Paul Public Schools and Como Park Senior High School. To the Como Park staff, our village of teachers, counselors, support staff, coaches, administrators, and service workers, thank you for your unselfishly sharing your time, talent, and knowledge. You set the bar high and challenged our students to live up to it. And like Olympic torchbearers, each and every day, you kept, you kept the flame of learning burning. And now to you graduates, my amazing class of 2018, this class that is so very near and dear to my heart. Nearly four years ago, we embarked upon a journey together. And tonight, on this once in a lifetime evening, we stand together proclaiming those magical words, I made it. Graduation is no longer a distant reality. It begins here and it begins today. And I applaud you for all of your efforts in reaching this monumental moment. I'm reminded of September 10th, 2014. It was the freshman welcome assembly. I was standing on the stage as the new principal of Como Park High School and you were my first student audience. I remember the energy level in the auditorium that morning, and it only took a few minutes in our exchange for me to realize that you were a class with definite personality, a class that some may say entered high school confidently dancing to the beat of your own drum. It was during that assembly that I realized my purpose as Como's newest principal, and that was to ensure, support, witness, and share in your success. You see, your success was my goal. We were going to be on this journey together, and that we have, in the best of times and even the most difficult of times. But together, nearly four years later, I can proudly say that I stand here sharing and celebrating you and your successes. But oh, what you have given me in these four years has been immeasurable. You have influenced my life from that very September morning. You have been my partner in learning and growing. You have been what motivates me and inspires me. You have brought me unimaginable joy. And as I too leave Como, I leave so confident that each of you will move forward in life with pride, with dignity, and with integrity because you each possess amazing potential so please go confidently in the direction of your dreams. And in the words of Dr. Betty Shabazz, who is an American edu educator and civil rights advocate, I say to you, love yourself, appreciate yourself, see the good in you. I wish you power that equals your intelligence and your strength. I wish you success that equals your talents and your determination. I wish you faith and I wish you love. So the world is waiting on you now. Go be bold, be audacious, pursue excellence, follow your passion. Go and make this a better and kinder world. Thank you for all of your contributions to Coma Park Senior High School, and thank you for the memories. I love you and I adore you.
And now I'd like to welcome to the stage um, one of your own, Mr. Lumen Johnson, who is representing the senior class. Thank you, Ms. Neal. Welcome, I am senior class representative Lumen Johnson of Como Park Senior High School, class of 2018. Speaking, <laughs> speaking for all the students, I would like to acknowledge all the parents, guardians, supporters, teachers, teachers, and administrators. I personally give all of you a special thanks on behalf of the 2018 graduates. Without further ado, I welcome all of you to the class of 2018 graduation ceremony. Thank you, Lumen. And now, presentation of colors by Como Park's Marine Corps JROTC Color Guard. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight, all the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets went Say does that. 
seated. And now we'll hear words from our very own superintendent, Dr. Joe Gothard. Panthers from Como Park Senior High School, class of 2018, you look and sound amazing tonight. Give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> Principal Neal, distinguished colleagues, loving families, and of course, the wonderful class of 2018, I'm delighted to be here to offer my congratulations to all of you graduates. You are a large and distinguished group. Your graduating class comprises 276 students. 113 of you have a GPA of 3.0 or higher. 25 have a GPA of 4.0 or higher. Some of you are going to the military, and several of the members of this graduating class are going on to further education, ranging from local and in-state colleges and universities to Beloit College in Wisconsin, Grinnell College in Iowa, and Dartmouth College in New Hampshire. Many others of you are going to jobs and adventures yet to be determined. Let's give them all a round of applause. <laughs> Graduates, you are in good company. High school students across the nation and right here in St. Paul have done some seriously important things this year. Yes, of course, completing your first 13 years of education is one of them, but that's not really what I'm talking about. I want to salute all of you who, in these last tough months, have taken part in many forms of community action, writing letters, walking in marches, joining protests, including those of you who chose to exercise your rights and walk out of school right here in St. Paul. The point is, you are taking a stand. What we've seen around the nation is something people in my line of work have known for a long time. Young people, you young people, have tremendous power to change the status quo. When you decide something needs change, you step up and speak out. You have voice and you have choice. You can choose to use your voice and speak out. You can choose to take action when you can see that a wrong needs to be righted. My role in today's ceremony is to give you some advice that you'll remember for the rest of your life. But I'll tell you the truth, I'm fresh out of advice. After hearing from high school students who have been speaking out on these vital issues across our district, our city, and our nation, I think we older people have a lot to learn from you. Thank you, Coma Park Class of 2018, for showing us what it means to take a stand. Thank you for your bravery, and thank you for your voice. Another thing people like me to do at events like this is to share a quote, and in this case, I'm not going to let you down. It was the poet Dr. Maya Angelou who said, just do right. Right may not be expedient, it may not be profitable, but it will satisfy your soul. It brings you the kind of protection that bodyguards can't give you. So try to live your life in a way that you will not regret years of useless virtue and inertia and timidity. Take up the battle. Take it up. It's yours. This is your life. This is your world. Graduates, this is your world. Make it better. Thank you, for all, thank you all for choosing St. Paul. It has been a privilege to provide your education. And graduates, Como Park, class of 2018, the Panthers, I wish you the very best. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Gothard. And now we will hear words from the Board of Education Director Mary Vanderwert. Principal Neal. Colleagues, graduates, families, and friends, as um, I, I have the a great honor of serving on your school board in St. Paul, and it's a great honor to be here to recognize you and to celebrate your achievements this evening. From all of us at, at, at the board, a heartfelt congratulations to the Como Park High School class of 2008. Go 18, go Cougars! Graduates, you have distinguished yourself in many ways, and we are all very proud of you. 
So I hope you've had a chance to reflect a little bit on your experience in the St. Paul schools. I expect you've learned a few things in your classes that prepared you academically, but maybe more importantly, you've learned some other pretty important skills. You've learned to manage your time, you've used your creativity to solve problems and to create beauty, you've learned how to work with others, and some of them may have even influenced your thinking. You've had to communicate ideas in writing and in speaking, and you've been taught to think critically and defend your thoughts. These are skills that will serve you well as you move forward toward your, your dreams, no matter what you do. I do hope you've had some fun, too, and that you've made some good friends and those friends that will, will be with you for the rest of your lives. I hope that you and they may still be telling and retelling great stories about your escapades in school when you're my age. That's a long time away, just so you know. Um, but depending on those escapades, just a little bit of advice. Um, use a little discretion about when you decide to share those escapades with your families. Get them, give them a little time to realize you really have become responsible adults. So your time with us is just the beginning. You have so many years ahead that will be filled with opportunities to challenge yourself, to explore other parts of the world, meet amazing and inspiring people, and to lead and inspire others as well. Know that we will always be your cheerleaders, and we will be here to support you should you need help in the future. Families, we want to thank you for, and for sharing your children with us and for choosing the St. Paul Schools as your family's education partner. It's been a great privilege for us. So congratulations to you as well on making it to this milestone. Believe me, your role's not over. There are many more joys and worries to come. The support and love that you provide graduates to this point and in the future is critical to their success, and it has been to ours. Graduates, this diploma is the foundation you need for getting more education, starting your career, joining the military, or whatever plans you have for the future. Whatever it is you choose, remember the words of a famous philosopher, Audrey Hepburn. She said, nothing is impossible. Even the word says, I'm possible. The world is out there waiting for you, and anything is possible. So please don't forget us. Think about coming back someday to St. Paul to work in our community, maybe run your own company here, be a staff member in the St. Paul Public Schools, or run for school board or mayor. Anything is possible. We can't wait to see what you'll do in the, in the coming years. So just know that we're very proud of you and all you've accomplished and wish you the very best in the years to come. It's been a privilege to be a part of your journey. Our heartiest congratulations to you all, class of 2018.
And now I'd like to introduce you to your selected commencement address speaker, Mr. Roy Magnuson. Thank you. Good evening, everybody, and welcome again to tonight's celebration of some of the finest people that we know, the Como Park class of 2018. A special good evening to our guests from the St. Paul Board of Education, Mary Vanderwert and Marnie Shung, and a special thank you to our superintendent, Dr. Joe Gothard. A special welcome to the parents, family, and friends of the class of 2018, a blessed Ramadan to all who are celebrating. And once more, a special greeting and congratulations to the reason we are here tonight, the class of 2018. You made it to the finish line. Give yourselves a hand. Graduation celebrations are when we gather to celebrate the accomplishments of individuals. But those accomplishments, while done individually, come as part of a community. The Como Park Senior High community is proud to gather tonight to honor you, the class of 2018. A class that was born in the first year of the new decade, the new century, the new millennium. A class that, to paraphrase, paraphrase President John F. Kennedy, will be a new generation born in this century that the torch of leadership will be passed to. A class that has lived through examples of the human experience, conflict and coming together. For much of your lives, our American military has been in harm's ways, often engaged in conflict although most of the time their goal is peacemaking, helping a coming together. A class that has lived through three history book elections, the one of your birth year, which you may be excused for having no memory of, and the 2008 election of President Obama, and the 2016 election of President Trump, both examples of America's penchant for this, while speaking of the need for this. In the class of 2018's four years at Como, honesty compels me to say that there were some examples of this side of the world. But the examples of coming together, of being a great community, of the positives of our school far outweigh any negatives. And the class of 18's list of positives is longer than time will permit me to list here. So apologies in advance for the many items I will not be enabled to include. This class will be the last class to graduate from the old Como building. Beginning in the fall, the new addition will be in use, and many rooms of the old Como will be undergoing renovation. Our school is belatedly becoming 21st century. Standing post around the auditorium floor are the undergrad members of our Como, Gar Como Park Marine JROTC, representing Como well. Raise your hand if you are a senior class member of our JROTC. In the audience are alumni and friends and family whose lives included not just the JROTC, but also service in our armed forces. Some of the class of 2018 will be joining the service. Good luck and be safe. Our community comes back to Como as parents, now in some cases grandparents, and as staff and educators. Como Park alum Allison Hartzell led our production of Crazy Town this year. Show of hands if you are in this. Once a cougar, always a cougar. Our musical this year was Monte Cristo. Our choirs and bands had memorable performances both on and off campus. Show of hands if you were band or choir. We 
We had a day a few weeks ago where we had two alumni and the parent of a Como Park grad in the building as substitutes. Como Park grads are educators across St. Paul. They're in classrooms, they're principals, coaches, maintenance workers, and in some cases, beloved cafeteria workers who tonight double as a proud alumni and a proud parent. Community. Como's ultimate Frisbee, sometimes most noted for their distinctive cow pattern uniforms, last week won their division of the state tournament. Raise your hand if that was you. <laughs> Community. Girls basketball was once again the city conference and Twin City game champions. Multiple years in a row. Links like. Raise your hand if you were a part of this community. Wrestler Drew Bernard and track runner Florence Wajanaza both qualified for their state meets with Florence still to come running on Friday at Hamlet. Both join a club of interested alumni who know what a major accomplishment this is and who have followed them. Again, community. It isn't just a new building that's reshaping Como Park. After years of effort, including public appearances by a number of our seniors at the Board of Education, Como Park finally has a facility to host home football and soccer games. Girls and boys soccer, along with football, hosted playoff games this fall. Thanks to everybody who made this happen, from the district admin to Ms. Neal to Mr. Galloway. Again, community. Daily life at Como is a celebration of our community, of our neighborhoods, and of the city that we live in. A city and school that brings new meaning to our national motto, e pluribus unum, out of many, one. Our school is indeed a family of families, a daily gathering that reflects the best of a welcoming America. We are many things, including being from many shores, but we are all Como Park Cougars, a community, a family. Some members of our staff joined the class of 2018 and moving on to the next parts of their lives, and we wish Jackie Russo, Mike Leibel, Gail Rosno, Lori Payton, Susie Scaldman, and Principal Neal all the best. Paraphrasing what will be said soon for the class of 18 to, to all of our retirees, I hereby grant you status of members of the Como Park retired community with all the privileges that come with that. Lastly, yes, lastly, to the gentlemen who played in the Snow Bowl and are graduating, and you will know when to join in. Will, Patrick, Robert, Timmy, Donnie, Lewis, Devin, DT, JVR, Jonathan, Gunner, Roberto, Sam, Caspian, Javon, Lumen. Yes! Congratulations, class of 2018. And we'll have Mr. Lumen Johnson back to the stage. Thank you, Mr. Magnuson. Eloquence as always. The first time I met Coach Magnuson was four years ago when I was a freshman playing football. Whenever he'd see a great play, no, no, no. Let me take that back. Whenever he saw an exceptional play in practice, he would throw his hands up just like he did high into the air and say, yes. So in the words of Coach Magnuson, yes. Now on the count of three, we're all going to stand together and throw our hands up in the air and say yes together. Ready? One, two, three, yes! Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> 
All of Como Park Senior High School graduates have done something exceptional this year. We have graduated from high school. Some didn't think we could do it. Some always believed we'd pull through. But in the end, we couldn't have done it without support. Support from friends, teachers, coaches, and most importantly, other students. Now we will hear from other students at Como who made Como exceptional. My fellow graduates, parents, and teachers, you cannot imagine how thrilled I am to see your beautiful faces full of excitement. Thanks a lot for being here to celebrate our accomplishment. Thanks a lot for being here to celebrate our accomplishment. Accomplishment. We have dedicated ourselves to improving our lives of coming back senior high school. To introduce a little bit about myself, I came to I came to the United States in 2014, and Comerbach Senior High School gave me a new home to make my dream come true. When I came to Como, I made a, new, I made a huge jump from fifth grade to ninth grade. Even though I had no confidence in my reading and speaking skills, I had the courage to, to proceed until I meet the end with satisfaction. I remember staying up late at night during my junior year, collecting biology forecasts and preparing for the ACT examination online. But all of the hard work and sleepless nights have paid off. As Prague Obama said, if you work hard and meet your responsibilities, you can get ahead, no matter where you come from, what you look like, and who you love. I have made friends who have, who have helped me when things got complicated. Moreover, I have had a fantastic teachers and, com and counselors who have always supported me and made my dream of succeeding in all my classes. My teachers are one of the reasons behind my achievement. They helped me to remain strong, motivated, and inspired me to be a strong, clever student. As the last but not least, I would like to thank my family for being there for me and, ha and raising me to be a strong woman who dreams of a bright future. I'm grateful to my mom who raised me for 19 years with such love and care. She taught me to be polite and hold tight to my culture, religion, as, long as, as well as my original country where I belong. So I, I would like to thank my father who have, who have, who ha I would like to thank my father. I would like to thank my father for having my back and motivating me to be an optimistic student who never gives up on anything. Students, my advice for you is to keep learning. As Nelson Mandela said, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Strive to earn your degrees so that one day you will become a doctor. Strive to earn your degrees so that one day you will become, you will become a president to save you will become a president for a country which has no leader to show the way. Strive to earn your degree so that one day you will become a doctor to save someone whose life is in a very difficult condition. Get rid of the laziness or obstacles that are preventing you from reaching your goals. Keep your heads up and know. Keep your heads up. Keep your, keep your heads up and know that as long as you are productively determined and coping with life, you will see the you will see the fruits of your labors. Thank you. I just want to start out by saying congratulations to the class of 2018. We made it and we deserve to be celebrated tonight. We have reached a milestone that is not easy to obtain. The diploma being presented to us tonight is more than a piece of paper graduating us from high school. It symbolizes all of the hardships we've had to overcome to get to this point. The long nights studying, the mental breakdowns, the lost friendships, and everything else we've had to endure throughout our journey should not go to waste. 
This is a moment I will cherish for the rest of my, my life, not because I'm finally done with high school, even though I'm, I'm excited, but because despite being homeless and having nowhere to call home for almost two years of my high school career, I will not only be the, a first generation college student, but I will be graduating from the Elyria Spelman College with over, over $50,000 worth in scholarships. So when I tell you, class of 2018, that anything is possible, you better believe me. No, I am not lucky. I did not triumph these adversities because I have a four-leaf clover up my sleeve. I am standing before you today because of hard work and dedication. Whenever I felt like I just couldn't push any further, I took one more step. And at that moment, I was one step closer to a better life. I am proud of every mountain I've had to climb, and you should be too, because the burdens placed on your shoulders are not easy to bear. Your story deserves to be told, and you deserve to be honored. So tonight, we honor you. But this moment would not be possible without the people who have assisted me along my journey. So I would like to give a special thanks to my mother for raising me to be a strong, independent woman and trusting me to stay in Minnesota, in Minnesota and, presume, and pursue my dreams. My coaches and mentors who have opened up their homes and offered love, guidance, and support. All of the teachers and counselors who put up with my outspoken personality. And Principal Neal, who was always there when I needed a little extra help. But lastly, I would like to thank God when it seemed like I had nothing left to give and no more strength left to fight, I confided in God and he hasn't let me down yet. Our journey, our journey is not yet over. Now is the time for us to open up the next chapter of our lives. It's our turn now. Our turn to decide the fate of not only ourselves, but those who come after us because we are the next generations of teachers, doctors, mothers, lawyers, world changers. I don't care what your GPA was or who you used to be because you, if you can think it, you can do it. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Congrat congratulations to the class of 2018, and happy birthday to my little sister Kendall. She turned 14 today. Thank you. When I first came to Como, I knew three people. In the summer leading up to freshman year, I was terrified at the prospect of trying to make new friends and couldn't tell why I had decided to come here. For me, the tension was palpable when I walked into school for the first time. I didn't know what to expect, what to do, or where to go. At the freshman orientation, I couldn't even open my locker, and I just knew that everything would be awful. When I walked into Como four years ago, on the first day of school, however, the fear and doubts receded just a little. As we looked up at banners that proclaimed our motto, at Como we belong, explore, achieve, succeed, together. How apropos that the first sight we had of Como was the word belong. Tonight, we're not here for a commencement. Rather, we're here for a family reunion. Three years later, we sat in a pep fest where no one paid attention to the teams being introduced. We were all distracted by conversations and the heat and we were waiting for the team coaches to finally stop listing players' names. And yet something suddenly caught our eye. Kayla, who's here tonight, stood up, felt the music move her, and started strutting her stuff down on the floor in her own dance routine. In that moment, Como came together and rose to our feet for her. We remembered that first feeling that first word, belong. Right then, as we stood clapping and cheering for her cartwheels, we showed what it means to belong. It's not about style or situation, but about the fact that we're here now. Tonight, we're here together. So tonight, we belong. 
In four years, a lot can change. Look around you. There's new faces, a new motto, and a soon-to-be new building. Think about the person that you were four years ago, sitting in the field house and listening to speeches in the auditorium with way too much clapping. Now we can sit still for a whole senior meeting without breaking out into clapping whenever an administrator speaks. In short, we've grown and changed along with Como. For better or for worse, Como is a part of who we've all become. It is a thread that unites each of us and will continue to bind us together as we leave here tonight. There's so much that we've shared. Joy at state tournament runs, irritation at constantly changing bell schedules, excitement for homecoming crowns, frustration at Schoology, not showing our grades or working in general, cheers of 1-8 at pep rallies, apathy for school dances, and so much more. We've also shared the title of Cougars, even when the newspapers told us that it was something to be ashamed of. We've never given up on each other, always pushing to make our friends better, or pushing to get to the front of the line when it's Italian dunkers. We belong together because we've been together, whether it be for projects during break, or hanging out after school with sports or clubs. You may have even met someone new just this year and yet, almost instantly, they're a member of the crowd as we leave school. Cougars care for each other, and we care for Como. This is what belonging looks like. As Anne Frank hid from the world, she wrote, how wonderful it is that nobody need wait a single moment before starting to improve the world. Tonight I ask you, my Como family, to join together and improve the world. Share a little of what we have had these last four years with someone new. Go out into the world and be an advocate for those that don't feel that they really belong. Give far more than you take and never give up on those who trust in you. The last four years have made me a better person. What will the next four do to you? Congratulations, class of 2018, we did it. my fellow seniors what qualities they thought of when it comes to a good principal. They said things like caring for students, hardworking, stern, and dedicated. Well, Ms. Neal portrays all of these qualities and so many more. She surpasses the idea of a good principal. She takes it upon herself to be very involved with her students. Each individual can count on the fact that she knows their name and that her door is always open in times of need. She made sure everyone felt welcomed, and when necessary, she made sure people knew she did not come to play. I can honestly say I look up to her for the power that she holds, and with that, the wisdom to use her power for the benefit of the entire Como community. The fact that Ms. Neal recognizes us as her children, and not just kids she sees for seven hours of her day, makes this parting even more bittersweet. You have stood with us since we were freshmen, the days of curiosity and mistakes to now, our senior year, the year of success and goodbyes. But goodbyes are sad, so let us look at this as a year for new journeys. Ms. Neal, you have brought inspiration to so many young minds, and I know you will continue to do so on your journeys ahead. We are so lucky to be leaving Como Park Senior High with such an amazing woman, and we want to say thank you for everything you have done for us. Now, like I said before, Goodbyes are sad, so we will see you soon, Ms. Neal, as doctors, lawyers, teachers, artists, rock stars, and always as your Como Park Cougars.
Okay, I just want to say this. This is a surprise, but let's give yourself a round of applause because you are what made me. Thank you so very, very much. Everybody, how are you guys doing on this wonderful night? I hope you guys are doing amazing. I'm going to open you guys, I'm going to close you guys up with a beautiful poem that I wrote, and it's called Pan African Salute. Red is for the blood, green is for the earth, yellow is for the sunshine, and black is for the hearts of the people. These are my keys for a fulfilling life. Red, acknowledging the blood, sweat, and tears my ancestors shed, making sure I have the opportunity to be with you here today. Green, for the earth, take heed from it and shed those dead leaves. Live in your truth because you've been dormant for far too long. Yellow is for sunshine. Like the sky, do not be afraid of change. Here's to the constant evolution of self. Don't shy away from who you feel yourself becoming. Instead, embrace it. Black is for the heart of the people. Regardless of who you are, where you come from, whatever your socioeconomic status is, the scale can be tipped with education. Looking at my graduating class, I see determination, perseverance, and growth. And that means a lot coming from me because I've only known you guys for a year and some change. Here's to the first of many achievements in life. And here's to many more, inshallah. Congratulations, class of 2018. We did it. Well, we've now come to this time. It's time that we've been waiting for. Superintendent Gothard and Directors Vanderwert and Jean, it is my pleasure to present to you the class of 2018. As principal of Como Park Senior High School, I affirm to you that each student who receives his or her diploma tonight has met or exceeded the requirements for a high school diploma as determined by the State of Minnesota Board of Education, the St. Paul Public Schools Board of Education, and Como Park Senior High School. Superintendent Gothard, Directors Vanderwert and Zhang, I now present to you the Como Park Senior High School class of 2018. Congratulations, graduates. And now we will hear from um, Director Marnie Zhang, who will confer the diplomas. By the power vested in me, by the State of Minnesota, and by the Board of Education of Independent School District 625, I hereby confer upon each of you the high school diploma with its rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Congratulations, Como Class of 2018. Song Lee, Tulor E. Paul, if you'll join us.
Lumen Johnson. Dominic Walters. Zarina Samantelli. Farhia Mohammed. Medicine Scalar. Ayan Abdikadir Mohammed. Thomas Quinn. Javon Bobo. Chagozi Chajoki. Demetrius Simmons. Buedo Tu. Sharice Monique Evans. Grenda Sivajan. Junior Duntao Chinu Lo. Hang Train. Aisha Levis Mahigo. Carla Mata. Jackson Samuel Kerr. Bao Vu. Najma Ahmed Omar. Mariah N. Lansing. Kalina Tsilu Ya. Andre Konechny. Maria A. Eli Pedersen. Tinda A. Yur Yang. Stephen James Bowler. Sianche Wilson. Jordan Moritz. Pasher. Walter John Medcraft. Casey Sharp-Billing. Benjamin Williams. Emily Jane Forstrom. Andrew James Barnard. Eva Hansen. Cole Robert Naparella. No, that's 2000. 2000. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Chia Ho. Wakaja Sims. Marie Hay. Sarlay Tu. Tyree McRoy. Dominic Schumann. William Wooten. Kayla Kellerman. Sang Lee. Mark Brenner. Sang Tao. Fadumo Abdi. Lucas Carmichael Tanaka. Ricky Vang. Dable Tata. Chow Her. Sammy Mahigo. Caspian Many. Ricky Ya. Devin Ellison. Kadiga Adim. Ahmed Aiden. 
Sali Hassan Kimu. Brianna Vendome. Adriana Tarver. Ricky Vang. Lucio Amwena. She egg ball. Ramsey two. Abdullahi Jama. Geso. Anna Caballero. Mohammed Ahmed. Hamza Jamari. Ricky Her. Shang Lee. Yasin Mohammed Abdullahi. Mario Sanchez Lopez. Anthony Gangji Phelps. Zazu Lee. Abdullahi Salim, and shout out to Miss Maria. Zong Chong Lor. Marquise Hill. Phoenix Lee. Alexis Lynn Barnes Murda. Bao Tao. Maria Kiana Meggett. Ku Lee. Colin Columbus. Dean Chenu Yang. John William Conway. Jonathan Martinez Vilma. Arturo DiGiralamo. Cloud Herr. Christian Berger. Michaela Vanette. Jonathan Steven Ortiz Rodriguez. Leah Pullen. Keaton Roger Vick. Stephanie Rodriguez. Dylan Fongva. Riwale Da. Curling Ka. Kwame Ture Ellen. On two. Juan Morales. Marine Kelly Ryan. Kong Peng Yang. Miley Hyung. Yia Yang. Martin Malik Lee Williams. Zua Zhang. Epa Yupa. Noah Frizzy. Ta Par. Chu Yang. Mawardi Youssef. Zong Chang. Gao Momei Kang. La Porcia Jackson. Francis Ya. Destiny Kelker. Christopher James Shanks. Isaac Schneider. Vincent Portuese. Zulkif Mohammed. 
Dylan Matthew Brady. Daryl Abrams. Aurelio Sandoval Bagachnik. Deshaun Sparkman. Diavian Traviar Tucker. Alora Madison Richardson. Kobe Owu. Grace Therese Commerce. Andrew Herr. Olivia Esmeralda Mencia Chavez. Budo. Arlo Noah Beckman. Sadie Lowe. Sareem Ajalo. Mime. Gabriel Nadir Reynolds. Kang Kang Cho. Cheyenne Salverda. Elamu. <clears throat> Emma Wallace. Yiva Lor. Sakler Paul. B. Lee. Jasmine Na. Timothy Chaliya. Hashiko. Ji Hyung. Jacob Kinson. Mi Cho Cho. Casey Yang. Trevion Loring Grinstead Williams. Penn Thomas. Sitsar Tu. Jessica Koch. Brianna Harris Booker. Chi Nu Yang. Rebecca Ann DePaul. Lado Tu. Alexandro Roberto Urbina. Mua Yang. Donald Thomas Ventrelli. Melinda Moore. Daniel Alexander Vargas. Pelly Sherto Her. Tomei. Zong Lee. Peng Ya. Long Tao. Lina Lau. Ya Yin Yang. My Suacha. Sang Tao. De Da Ta Cha. Samuel Kajelo. Zhang Hyung. Janasia Jones. Whippa Vu. Danica Pedersen. Gambao Hyung. Rain Adams. Nye Cha A. Autumn Tuck Tucker. Florence Wagenza.
Hycynthia Akpo. Kao Moa. Arian King. Pei Mu. Mariana Williams. Samaya Farah. Sadrina Baker. Umoke Farah. C2. Asiya Noor. Asiya Abdi Ali. Kalsar Med. Nathaniel Tay. Shukri Noor Abdullahi. Chala Hussein Kadir. Father Faro Med. Sajani. Shapira Kimura Ward. Lekung Gatachu. Esmeralda Mendoza Balderas. Lucas Max Walton. Samuel Joseph Barnes Merda. Jesse Vesquez. Rebecca Marie Floor. Javier Johnson. Shimari Mingon Spencer. Gunnar Olson. Kathleen Mary Cupris. Muntas Jerde. Lai Chia Mua. Lily Yang. Alyssa Rose Clark. Seaver Mu. Nora Vitali. Pray Ray. Lauren Thompson. Trent Vincent Willard. Nick Romo. Maximus Jane Kong. Robert Jonathan Adams. Anita Rana. Malik McCoy. Alika Mejigo. Earl Hill Eldridge. Nemo Abdi Yusuf. Jared Check. Now I present to you Song Lee. Tuloy Pa. Congratulations, graduates. Here we go. 